Hej, hej, Runar Balto här från Live Church. Och jag har fått en väldigt intressant gäst. Hon heter Marsha. Hon är från Kremenchok i Ukraina och hon bränner väldigt för Jesus och har reist runt. Är väldigt brännande, evangeliserar mycket, har reist i vart i utlandet på flera missionsreiser, bland annat i, i Indonesien har också bott som missionär. Ukraina har hon varit, inte Ukraina, men Uganda har hon varit att se. Welcome, Marsha, to our live church mm-hmm. studio. So, yeah, can you tell you. me a little bit, who is Marsha Avilu? Tell me a little bit about her. Okay, yes, so, but, uh, hello yes, everybody. Yeah. Hey, all yeah. the And my name is Masha or Maria, and uh, I'm 24 years old. Jag heter Masha eller Maria och jag är 22 år gammal. Yeah, and I was born in Christian family, so my parents they are pastors. Jag är född i en kristen familj. Mina föräldrar är uh, pastor. And uh, from my childhood, I was dreaming to be a missionary. Helt från barndomen av så har jag drömt om att vara en missionär. And all my life uh, in childhood, I prepare myself uh, to be a missionary. Helt från barndomen av så har jag bent att förbereda mig till att bli en missionär. I was learning English language and. Uh, i was saving some money for next during. Jag satte iver in för att lära mig engelsk och jag började också spara pengar till att kunna resa ut med evangeliet. Yeah, I was reading a lot of books about missionaries and how to behavior when you become missionary. Jag läste en massa böcker om hur man ska vara missionär eller hur man uh, man går framöver som missionär. Yeah, so in all of these years uh, I already visited five countries. På mina 21 år, jag är 21 år gammal, har allerede besökt fem land där jag har varit missionär. Yeah, and so my goal is to encourage other people, youth and everybody uh, to serve the Lord in the place where they are now or in in, in any place in the world. Jag känner att mitt kall är att uppmuntra ungdom, oavsett var i världen att befinna mig. Yeah, so who is Marsha? It's me. <laughs> so the I am Marsha, the my at Nutteskal. Marsha, um, you live in Ukraine, Ukraine, in Kremenchuk. Marsha, yeah. you live in Ukraine, in Kremenchuk. How it is to be a Christian youth uh, nowadays in Ukraine? What are the other Christian youngdom in Ukraine? Mm-hmm. Actually, I think uh, Christian teenagers or Christian youth probably around the world the same um, as in each countries. Yeah, I think Christian youngdom is the same regardless of where in the world they are from. Because in all the world, um, youth and people, uh, they have the same priority of successful life. They have the same thoughts. Yeah, I think that youngdom over the whole world has the same priority when it comes to successful life. Yeah, because all the, in all the world, everybody wants to be rich. Everybody wants to find good work. I the whole world, so we dream all of us to do the bra, to do skaff sig mer pengar och få en bra jobb. And everybody wants to have a good family and big house. All will have a good family or a stort hus or boy. Yeah. So what about Ukrainian uh, Christian youth? I think most of them uh, they have the same the same goals like money and everything like that. I think young people in Ukraine are like the rest of the world. They dream about the same things. They want to have a good job and a good place to live. Yeah, but of course, Christian teenagers and Christian youth, we are taught 
and uh, we know that the first place in our life is the will of God and calling from God. Ja, som kristen ungdom så har man ju också en prioritering med att Gud ska komma från första plats i livet. Yeah, so I think in Ukraine, uh, if truly Christian youth, and truly Christian teenagers, they at the beginning they try to find the will of God. Uh, jag tror att uh, kristen ungdom i Ukraina de jobbar med att finna Guds vilja i, i livet sitt. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, Marsha, in your short life, <laughs> um, uh, first time I talked with your parents, sure, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I got to know your parents, uh, Vladimir and Tatiana, and I got to know your sisters, mm -hmm. Annie and, and Lisa. I började sen då blev jag med föräldrarna dina. Det blev känt med din far Vladimir och din mor Tatjana, din syster Anne och Lisa. The first thing they told me, uh, you have to say greet our oldest daughter. And you haven't met her yet and I ask her about her, where is she? Uh, du, du må hälsa på vår äldste datter, hon heter Marsha och jag spurte var är du ålder till? Well, She's living in now in Indonesia, and we tell you, she's in fire. That's what they told me. Hun brannet, and I was uh, very excited to meet you because I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but I see, I see, in that fire you have, you also have calmness. This is, you are a very balanced person, I have to tell you that. Uh, Thank you. I have, yes. Now, the last time I met her, so I have two brenner, as no one else has seen other places, but she is also a very balanced person. Uh, I experience you, when we talk, you are a very good listener. You know, many people who are in fire, uh, They just want to talk and not, not listen. But that's not the case of you. Um, jag har hört många människor, de som bränner för Jesus. De vill helst bara prata och lytta minst möjligt. Men det är inte tillfället med Marsha. Så tell me Marsha. Uh, how, how do you... <laughs> what's... Uh, difficult to explain you as a person because... <laughs> you are in. I see the videos where you are preaching. You are in totally fire, and like we are talking now, you are totally calm. How do you switch between the two, <laughs> uh, uh, Marshas? Tell me. Uh, yeah. Do you mean uh, how I like when I decide to be uh, active yeah. and I just calm like now? Yeah. <laughs> when are you at? What are you? Or did you switch them all of them? Brand the Marshall and then have a Yes, tell me. Um, actually, what, um, what's the what's the what's I, the I fire in your life? Tell me, what's the fire in your life? The fire. Okay, yeah. I think um, in general. Oh, oh, you told very good um, phrase like uh, um, you are a good listener. And I remember one phrase in my life, somebody told me this, a pastor or a missionary, I don't remember. And they say, if you want to be a good spiritual father or mother, right? If you want to be a good spiritual leader, you have to be a good spiritual son, like a good spiritual daughter. So if I, if I want to lead and to be um, a servant of God, at the beginning, I need to listen and to study. Uh, yeah, but not all the time talking, talking. Yeah. Yes, I have to interpret this. Uh, well, Wolfram, uh, they were a business and they went to learn for good. So, what the end uh, thought in my? You can't keep on brand. You must have a good letter. You can't just talk and talk. You must have a good letter. But Marsha, the fire in your life. There are no question about that. That must be the fire of the Holy Spirit, which is. Uh, Uh, yeah. driving you. Det må jo være den helgens ild som er kraften i livet ditt. 
Yeah, I so. just think um, that uh, Holy Spirit, he, um, he came to this earth to every Christian who really wants to, to have Holy Spirit inside. Yeah. Marsha, tell me if there are some use. Yeah, watch I understand. Out. I want to continue. Just uh, wait yeah. and you will translate or what? Okay. I, I can continue. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Um, can you uh, repeat the first thing you said so I can translate? Yeah. Uh, at the beginning, I think and I believe that Holy Spirit, He can be inside of every Christian, not just yeah. uh, oh, Masha or not Masha. Allion kan være i alle kristne. Det er ikke spørsmål om det er Masha eller ikke Masha. Det her kan være som helst som kristen får. And the reason why I in fire, yeah, as you told me, in fire. It's not just because uh, Holy Spirit chose me and doesn't choose nobody, only me. Det er at jeg brenner i den hellige ønskapen. Det betyder ikke at Gud utvalgte spesielt meg ut, men det her er noe som hvem som helst kan få. The reason why I'm in fire, I believe it's just because uh, I all the time seek the face of God and all the time want to do His will. His amen, amen, amen. Uh, jeg tror denne brannen beror på at jeg er veldig ivrig å søke Herrens ansikt. E, 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 ja. Sorry. And any place and um, every situation where God wants me to be, uh, and I do what He wants me to do, uh, it means Holy Spirit in me and Holy Spirit upon me, and that uh, that that time I'm uh, I'm in fire. Det betyder at når jeg er her i hans ledelse, så er jeg veldig omvåken for hva han vil gjøre, hva jeg vil si. Og det er også gjør at jeg alltid er i den her i hans ild. Amen. Yeah, is it the answer on your question? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, it's a very good answer. It's a very good answer. But, Marsha, why do you think God sent us the Holy Spirit? Marsha, why do you think? Uh, what for told you, Marsha, that we picked an Helion from Christ? Again, sorry. What, uh, uh, why, why do you think Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit? Why Jesus sent? Aha, uh -huh, sent Holy Spirit. Yeah, why do we need this fire? Tell me. Uh, okay. Uh, on this earth, of course, we are very good people and we have uh, authority and strength and uh, some people, they have money and uh, yeah, power and everything. But without the uh, Holy Spirit, we can't do any supernatural work. We can't um, do miracles. We, we Man, just I'm normal right. people without anything spiritual. Okay, there's a much here, huh? Du kan bygge et bra liv med mye penger og mye materiell velstand. Men når det kommer til det overnaturlige, så kan vi ikke gjøre noen ting med den helgens hjelp. Eh, vi kommer ikke til å se noen mirakler, vi kommer ikke til å se noen ting eh, av Guds nærvær når vi lever kristne i våre liv. I think I, uh, it's true. I, I, I hope I translated you correct. <laughs> I, I I know that you all the time right, so um, <laughs> I'm trusting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Marsha, I, I, do you have any message to over youth here in Norway? I want to yeah, give you the opportunity. Definitely. Please share it to us. How do you how do you put us up to us Christian here in Christian? Spesielt her i Norge. Vær så snill, del det med oss. Be my, be my guest, Marsha. Ok, så so, uh, I, I already started with this, like with values of this world, like money, big family, and uh, self-development, and its values of this world. Uh, you started with that, did you say that? Yeah, at the beginning when you were yeah, asking okay. the first questions, I already told that in yes. this world, people have these values, money, yeah. and everything. Yes, the Marshall said that people have a value when they have a Jordish thing, they have a lot of money, they have a well-stand, a place to live, a good home, and they have a whole other value. 
Yeah, but uh, we know that Bible says in Second Corinthians, oh, First Corinthians three nineteen, that um, that uh, the wisdom of this world is fullness for God. Yeah, and what is wisdom for God is fullness for this world. Uh, yeah. Um. The first, yes. uh, first Corinthians, uh, you said First Corinthians, uh, First Corinthians 3 First Corinthians 3 19 says that uh, then the word wisdom are doors for good, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, uh, so it means that, um, as a Christian people, as who loves Jesus, we can't have the same values on the first play in our life as this world, right? Um, that betyder that we som kristne, we can have the same type of values as in the world, and think on a different way. Yeah, of course, it's very good to have money, to have work, to develop yourself, to have family, but it's not yeah. on the first place. Uh, it's very good to have uh, sådana prioriterar att man har god jobb, god familj och så vidare, men och självutveckling, men det här är ting som kristen, du kan inte sätta det där som är en i ditt liv. Yeah, the priority and the reason why God sent us on this world and choose us as Christian is just because he wants us to do his will. Uh, the yeah. reason why God sent us yeah. to this world. Grunden till att Gud sände, eller frälst oss och satt oss i den här världen, det och gör hans vilja först av Yeah, and Exodus 3 and verse 7 until 8, there is uh, some important words. Exodus, no, I'm not sure what that's in English, in Norwegian. Sorry. Second book uh, in... Uh, yeah, the second, yes. Under the most book, uh, which chapter? Uh, 3. And verse 7 8. Uh, under the Moses book, chapter 3, verse 7 8. And there God says, uh, I've heard the cry of my people and yeah. I know their sorrows. Yeah. There's the good sword. I heard the uh, uh, rope of my foot and I know what God is And then he said, And I. I'm going and, or I come down to deliver them. Or I come to or I come to feed them. Yeah, and in my translation in Ukraine Bible, it's like um, I'm going to go there and to sa save them. I mean, you can skip it to see and I will draw it or I come to frelse them. Yeah, and he say, uh, says this word for Moses. Yeah. I saw the heart in Moses. And for me, um, how I receive these words and these verses for me is uh, God has something special for me and he has people who need Jesus through me. And God asked me, uh, like, he doesn't ask me, Masha, can you go there alone? But he said, I'm going to that people. He need, they need help. Do you want to go with me? Amen. Uh, they are channeled at Norway and Lasser has Griff's dead, so I like good taller to me. See, uh, Marsha, can you go to that the folk for me? Can or I will wear a maid? Yeah, so he said, I'm going there, and actually, I will do everything there, and actually, I will win in that battle. But do you want to go with me there? Yes, yeah, we are all the tad, you are all the yarning, all the tad. Men vill du vara så snill eller vill du gå med mig? Yeah, and I believe every Christian we have two ways what we can answer to God. Uh, som kristne så har vi två måter att svara Guds kall på. First answer, uh, for example, uh, Moses, he could answer, Oh Lord, sorry, I can't go to Egypt to help you or to save people. I, I want to stay with my family, with my business, cheap business, and I, I have already what to do. Sorry, I can't. The first uh, first svar Moses could ask get to God that Beklager God, I have no time to go here. I will be here and take care of my own business and my family. Beklager, I will not go. 
and uh, but but he chose second ways like Christian we can choose another way what to answer men han valde att ta en annan väg han valde att ge ett annat typ av svar som kristen vi kan välja att svara ut på han ska på en helt annan mått he said uh, sorry lord i can't talk nicely i don't know what to do i'm not sure if they believe me but i will go there with all of my family not only me but i will take my sons my wife and i will go there uh, han säger att beklaga gud jag kan inte snacka jag har ingen tal av det men jag vill gå lika jag vill ta min kone med mig min familj och alla de här som hör det mitt hus till yeah and almost the last one what i want to say the moses he could live the peaceful life in Madiam, yeah, in the beginning where God found him. He could live peaceful life, but he chose to live active life with God uh, through Egypt, through desert, through everything of these problems sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Moses could have lived a still and rolly life with his own family without any big events. But he chose to go to Egypt and have an active life together with God. And nowadays, a lot of modern Christian nowadays, yeah, they choose to live peaceful life in Mariams. They don't want to have this active life with God. Many people are willing to live a still life for God. They will not go that active life. And can you imagine if Moses uh, didn't uh, didn't go with God to Egypt? He couldn't see the separation of the sea. He he couldn't see the all miracles in Egypt, right? He, he couldn't. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, Take this Moses had the sack night to God's call and go to Egypt. I'm really kind of sad. Have a day to say. I'm really kind of sad. They had miracle and the good you're there. But they know under where I'm first the folk go out. Yeah. But he decided to go with God. Of, <laughs> of course, he had a lot of problems. Of course, he had a lot of people who was against him. But he could see a lot of miracles, and God was with yeah. him all the time. He took me and my son when he went to Egypt. He had a lot of problems, but likewell, God stood with Moses in his side the whole way. Yeah. So the conclusion, and what I encourage you, everybody who watching this video, conclusion with that here, I have tried to see, and I tried to tell, see to you, we are talking to you now. I want to encourage you, don't be mm, peaceful, lazy Christian. I will ask you, don't be a still, loud Christian. If you really want to, to know the will of God and the calling of God in your, to your life, if you really want to know what God calls you to, and find out what is God's will for your life, you should to um, to see where you are now, what people around you now, whom you can help, and uh, where God lead you. Yeah, to start active, my sake. What good sign they know? What good? Do you want to start by now? Be vague, they. And you have lost, your choice where yeah. you what park is. Uh -huh. I lost okay. you for a few okay. seconds. It's the bad connection here someplace. Man, I, I understood your question, so I yeah. I just uh, <laughs> I translated you what I okay. think you said. So <laughs> yeah, and one more advice: uh, you have to find oh uh, or even if you the part of your church, you have to. Be involved in the ministry what your church has. Amen. Du må være aktiv og involvere deg i tjenesten eller misjonen som menigheten din er i. Involvere deg aktivt. Yeah, and the reason why I am in fire or how you can be in fire, you just have to be involved in the ministry in your church. Yes. Amen. You're preaching good. Hvis du skal være i brand, og ha den heldige ånds ild i livet ditt. Du må aktivt være med i det menigheten har av misjonsliv. For den heldige ånds ild kommer først da, 
när du börjar göra aktiva steg i ditt egna liv. Hallelujah. And, um, Sorry, I get excited here. <laughs> yeah, you will. And you know, one more uh, very interesting. The Moses couldn't see miracle in Madian, in peaceful place. He can That's see the miracles in Egypt, where it was situations and everything. Wow. <laughs> wow, you are good. Wow. Moses, han kunde inte se någon mirakel, men han var rolig där samman med sin familj, komfortabel med sin svigar, son och kone, svigar, far och kone och barn. Miraklerna Moses fick se var först i Egypt. Ja. Yeah. So you should to think, do you have miracles in your life? Do you see God's hands in your life? If not, maybe you don't do everything what he wants you to do. Eh, hvis du opplever et tredelig, tørr kristen liv, kanskje du ikke gjør det en Gud vil at du skal gjøre. Yeah. Amen. The last verse to encourage you, it's Rome 12, verse 11. Derfor vil jeg kunne det med Romerbrevet 12 og vers 11. Ja, yeah. here is the words like that. Don't be lazy in ministry, but be fire in spirit and serve the Lord. Ikke vær lat i din tjeneste, men vær i brann. But Marsha, vær en helig ånd. Please, pray for youth now. Who are watching us now. Vær så snill, Marsha, be for ungdommen som ser på nu. Ok, and you will translate me, right? I will translate you. Ok. Thank you, Lord. Takk, Herre. Thank you, Lord, that you give us this opportunity to hear your voice. Thank you that you gave us no then have anything to hear it in trust. Thank you that you didn't leave us alone, but you sent your Holy Spirit. Thank you that you didn't let us be alone, but you sent us the Holy One. And thank you that you promised that in the last days you will be upon us and you will give us a certain power. Takk, Herre, at du har lovt i ditt år at i de siste dagene som du utdømmer om, at vi skal være fulle av kraft og salvelse. Lord, and you see all of our hearts and all of our minds. Herre, du ser over alle våre hjerter og våre tanker. I just ask you, Lord, about these teenagers and youth and everybody who watching this video. Herre, jeg bare ber at du berører alle de her ungdommene som ser på denne videoen. I ask you, Lord, to touch the hearts of that people to be really disciple of you. Herre, jeg bare ber at du berører hjertene dem så de kjenner en lyst og et kall til å være disipler. I ask you to touch their hearts really to find your will, your calling in their lives. Jeg ber at du rører med deres hjerter så de skal finne din vilje og mening i deres liv. Lord, may this understand and may these words what we were talking today may it will come to that heart heart and make the fruit in in your life amen yeah but a bit out of the old so we are taught that at the god in the yet that's what i heard but it's going to be more to our shell and i bless the youth in norway to become really good christian and good missionary and good workers of god jeg ønsker bare å velsigne ungdommen i Norge. De skal være gode misjonærer, de skal være gode kristne i vandring med dem. May your kingdom become bigger. Jeg ber her om at ditt kongerike skal bli større. In the name of Jesus we are praying. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In Jesu navn. Amen. Marsha. Maybe there are some people watching now who are not safe. Kanskje det er noen mennesker som ikke er frelst. How can I be Christian? What prayers? How do you... Can you please pray for the unsaved to lead them to Christ? Kan du være så snill lede en bønn? Lede du frelste til Jesus? Please lead them to Christ now. If somebody watch this video and you are not Christian, hvis noen av dere som ser på denne videoen og ikke er kristen, I want to encourage you to pray with me a very simple prayer. 
Så vill jag uppmuntra dig till att du bär en mycket enkel bön samma med mig. Because God he has calling for you and he wants for you the best life. Eh, han kallar på dig och han vill att du ska ha det bästa livet. And you just can uh, you just have to invite him to your life to be on the first place in your life. Allt du behöver göra det är att invitera Jesus till att vara ta den första platsen i livet ditt. Yeah, because without Jesus, without God, we we can't uh, live good life and we can't U- be together yeah. with God because we are sinners. Utan Jesu hjälp så lever, klarar vi att leva ett gott liv. Eh, vi vill leda, men därför tränger vi att vända oss från vår synd och låt Jesus komma i vår hjärta. Yeah, so you just can repeat after me, okay? Då må du be efter mig och jenta det jag säger. Okej. Okay. Dear Jesus. Kära Jesus. I come in front of you now. Jag kommer in för ditt ansikt nu. And I ask you to forgive me. Jag ber att du ska tillge mig. For all sins what I did. För alla ting som jag gjort. And... I so thankful you Jesus that you died instead of me on the cross. Jag är så glad för att du valt att dö på vägen av mig på korset. I ask you Lord to forgive me and give me peace in my heart. Jag ber här att du tillger mig och ger mig fred i mitt hjärta. I invite you Jesus in my life. Jag inviterar dig Jesus att komma in i mitt liv. I ask you to be on the first place in my life. Jag ber att du ska vara på första platsen i mitt liv. I want to know life what you prepare for me. Jag vill ha det livet som du har förberett för mig. Be my Lord, be my Savior. Var min Herre, var min frälsare. Thank you for your forgiveness. Tack Herre för din tillgivelse. Thank you that you give me Holy Spirit inside. Tack Herre för att du ger mig den helgon som flyttar in på insidan. Thank you that I'm not alone in this world. Tack Herre för att jag inte längre är alene i denna värld. Help me to understand the life what you prepare for me. Hjälp mig Herre till att förstå det livet som du har förberett för mig. In Jesus name I pray, amen. I Jesu namn, amen. Amen.